Hi guys, today we'll be showing you how to successfully downgrade your iPad 3 running the latest iOS 9.3.5 back to iOS 6.1.3. If you have an iPad 3 and if you have already updated your iPad 3 to the latest iOS 9.3.5, you know that it is very slow. Lucky for you, today you can downgrade it successfully back to iOS 6.1.3, which is the best iOS version for your iPad 3. So without further ado, let's get started. To make this method work, you need to download three files. The SHSH blobs for iOS 6.1.3 here, the IPSW file for iPad 3 here, and the future restore file here. I have included the links to download the IPS file and the future restore file here in the description below. For the SHSH blob, I will show you how to extract it. Also, let me make things clear here. Just like my previous video regarding how to downgrade iPhone 4S back to iOS 6.1.3, this method works on any iPad 3 running any iOS higher than 6.1.3. These include iOS 7 up to iOS 9. As long as your iPad 3 is jailbroken, you are good to go. In my case, my iPad 3 is running the latest iOS 9.3.5. If you take a look at the settings, general, about, and you can see the version is 9.3.5. So the only way that I can jailbreak is through a jailbreak tool called Phonix. Before you jailbreak, make sure that you turn off both Find My iPad feature and Passcode. To jailbreak, it is very simple. You have to download the Phonix IPA file and also the Impactor tool. I also included the link to download this in the description below. So you just open Impactor. You drag this IPA file and drop. And you type in your Apple ID and password. And it will start installing. Now you can see on my iPad screen, you will see a new app called Phonix. To jailbreak it, you have to open this app. But as you can see, it's an untrusted developer. Same thing, you just go to settings, general, and scroll down. You will see device management. Click on that. Click on your Apple ID. Click trust, trust again. Go back to home screen. And click on that app again. And at the bottom, you can see prepare for jailbreak. Click on it. Click accept. Dismiss and at the bottom you can see the word proceed with jailbreak click on that click begin installation Now we just wait for it to complete installation of CDA So here you can see CDA and now what you have to do is open CDA so you go to sources click edit add you need to add one source I have included this source in the description below so you have to type repo dot dot net Click Add Source. Now you go to that source, All Packages. Now scroll down. You will see a tweak called KDFU App here. At the top right, they say Modify. Just click on that and click Install. Click Confirm. Click Return to CDR. Now you're done. This is a new app, but you don't use this app yet. Next, plug in your iPad 3 to the computer through the cable. Unlike downgrading iPhone 4S in my previous video that I use this file, TSS Checker, to extract SHSH blobs. This method for the iPad 3, you cannot do that. This method need a workaround way because I have already tried using TSS Checker to extract my iPad SHSH blobs, but it didn't work. So what you need to do to extract your iPad 3 SHSH blobs is through a tool called iFaith. Unfortunately, this tool does not support Mac. You need to have a Windows computer to do this. However, you can use Virtual Machine to install Windows operating system on your Mac. In my case, I use Parallel Desktop app to install Windows on my Mac. Here, I use this one, Parallel Desktop. If you're using Mac and you don't have a PC computer, you can just download this app, Parallel Desktop, and install Windows in it, and then you can run it. So I'm using Windows 10. Here is the file called iFace, iFace 1.5.9. Again, I have included the link to download it in the description. So you just open it. You have to right click on the file and run it as administrator. Click yes. What you do next is you need to click on show available SHSH catches on server. At this point, you need your iPad 3 EC ID. So just open iTunes. 
and click on my iPad and to find ECID you have to click on here serial number click it again and now you see the ECID right click on it click copy now go back to this paste it here and now you choose your iPad so because my iPad is iPad 3 GSM I click it here so choose based on the type of your iPad if you have iPad 3 Wi-Fi click on that or CDMA but mine is iPad 3 GSM so I click on that and I click show available blobs and there are three choices you just click the last one it says show list of available SHSH blobs on TSS servers click on that and now it shows me the available blobs that I can download from. So because you want to downgrade back to 6.1.3, you would want the last one. So tick that and click download selected blob here. And it asks you where you want to save. I would save on desktop. Click OK. You start downloading. Just wait for it. Now they say iFaith has successfully downloaded the following blobs. Click OK. And now you can see here you have the blob, the SHSH blob 6.1.3. So the great thing about Parallel Desktop is that you can drag and drop between your Mac and your PC very quickly. Just drag and drop. And because I already have this file downloaded before, that's why they say replace. So I just click replace. Now you don't need your Windows anymore. Now after you have your SHSH blobs, it's time for you to downgrade but you need to do one more thing you need to go to your iPad and you click on the KDFU app that you have downloaded from the CD open it now you need to turn all of these on you start with find bundle turn it on and then turn on download IBSS wait for it to download okay they say IBSS downloaded next you turn on find IBSS and then you click PWN IBSS and at the bottom you can see the word enter DFU mode click on that and it says enter KDFU mode bye bye system and now your iPad should be in the black screen now it will have this message pop up just ignore it now it's time for you to restore to restore you have to open terminal you just click command space and then you type in terminal So because all my files are on desktop, I have to type this command in, cd desktop. So make sure that you place all your files, your future restore file, your IPSW file, and your SHSH blob on desktop for easy access. So now you have to type in exactly what I typed. So you type in full stop slash future restore underscore mac os space dash dash latest dash baseband space dash dash use dash p w n d f u space dash t space now you need to drag your shsh blob on it and then you drag your ipsw file on it and now you click enter and now you just wait for your ipad 3 to downgrade back to ios 6.1.3 just ignore the message, the error message. Now your iPad should be in the green mode. And then you can see, you can see Apple logo. And that Apple logo is the logo of iOS 6.1.3. So you just wait for it to restore back to 6.1.3. And it may take a while. Again, it depends. Usually it takes maybe half an hour or less so just sit tight or go somewhere and drink your coffee and then come back Okay, now the restore has been successful. If you take a look at my iPad screen, it's almost complete. 
Now it's restarting. As you can see, that is the screen of iOS 6.1.3. So let me set up this real quick. Okay, now I click start using iPad. As you can see, this is iOS 6.1.3. If you take a look at the version 6.1.3. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up because I have tried very hard for a few weeks to try to find ways to downgrade iPad 3 back to iOS 6.1.3. And please comment down below for your thoughts and problems that you have encountered while you are doing this process. And also subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.